Hey everybody, Vash here again with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be going through and finding every map card in the game Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. These map cards are available whenever you clear a borrow, whenever you clear a chapter or a section and you get to that dream sequence, you got to go back to this section and then it'll be available for you to find. You can't find them right away. So make sure you clear the area. I just wanted to make that known so then you guys don't get confused throughout the video. And I'll repeat it as we go through just in case you're skipping around and you don't hear this part. <laughs> but um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and we're going to get to it. Alright, so the first map card is pretty simple. We're going to start off at Barham Hill because this is the first area that you go to. And uh, when you're heading down the street over here by the big train railway, you'll see these two billboards and right in between... The, uh, the two billboards, you'll see the map card. Um, I'm just going to call it a map card, or I mean, you can call it a map cart, I guess, because it looks like a cartridge. But yeah, uh, I'm going to call it a map card. But that is the first one right there. You go ahead and grab it, and there you go. Now you have access to the map in Verum Hill, and it'll showcase all of the different graffiti spots that you've missed, and all of that good stuff. Now, let's get to the next one. All right, everyone, so I'm uh, a big dum-dum, and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Uh, the next map card is right around this uh, circular red girder thing. You want to go in a circle, and it'll be here, I promise. I just, uh, I grabbed it. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. And the way this game works is it's all based on autosave, so I can't just quit the game out and try again. As soon as you touch something or do something, it's over there. It's done. So, <laughs> so yeah, I promise it's here. Just make sure you finish uh, the chapter with the Eclipse girls and you chase them down to the tower and you do the dream sequence. And then once you come back here after waking back up at the hideout, um, the map card should be right there. Sorry, I couldn't show it to you, but trust me, it's in this spot right here. Okay, moving on. All right, everybody, so we're moving on to the third map card. That's what I'm calling a map cards. Uh, this one's going to be in the Millennium Mall, and it's really, really easy. It's right at the beginning. So again, just to you know, clarify with you guys, you got to make sure you clear this area. You want to get all the way to the dream sequence uh, with red. And um, after you beat the dot exe boys, uh, you will have access to the map card in this area. So this one is pretty close, it's right there. You can kind of see it shining in the distance, but you're gonna wanna go ahead and hop up here. And um, you can see up there that it's in between these little circular um, wall, I mean, I guess you wanna call them uh, grinds, right? Like just regular grinds. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way up there. And um, uh, I don't think I'll make a cut. It's pretty It's pretty quick to get there. So we'll just uh, ride our way over. You want to make your way through this little uh, clothing store. Um, jump over. We got a billboard that we got to go across here. And as you can see right there in the center, you want to make two simple jumps. One and two. And there it is. You've got the map card for Millennium Mall. Uh, you can go ahead and see all the graffiti that's left in all the different areas. And all right, we're going to go ahead and move on. Okay, everybody, we are here at Brink Terminal now. We're looking for the map card. And as you can see behind me, it's up there floating. Let me go ahead and show you where I am on the map for Brink Terminal. I'll give you a couple of different angles of where I am located. And, uh, yeah, I know this place might be a bit confusing. Everything is looking a little green, but, uh, you know, there's that sign. If you want to head up there, that's where you do the whole sniper fight and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to show you how to get up to this map card that's floating. And that'll help you with uh, gathering more of the uh, graffiti spots if you've missed any in the area. Yeah, you want to just do a simple uh, jump off of this rail here. Uh, that'll set you up. To jump on over and grab the map card it's easy as that you've now acquired the map card for Brink terminal so get to searching for those graffiti tags that you've missed and I'll go ahead and move on over to the next area okay here we are at Pyramid Island looking for the next map card and it is located at the very top 
pretty much at the arena where you fought DJ Cyber at the end of the chapter. Like I mentioned in the other map card locations, you need to make sure that you're at the end of the chapter, you finish the dream, dream sequence, and you've come back to the Boro so you can get the map card that's located at the very, very top of Pyramid Island. You can get it simply by boosting and grabbing it. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I guess you could also do it that way, but you could boost, and if you don't make it through, then you can just use this red booster, and that should take you all the way up to grab the map. And there you have it. Now you've got the Pyramid Island map card. So hopefully that can help you get all the graffiti tags that you have left in the area. And, you know, small little tip here, if you have your phone out, it actually gives you a small little reference point of the ones that are in the area around you. So, pretty cool. Alright, we've got two more to go, so let's get it. So the next map card that we're going for is the one in Matan. This one is not accessible until after you clear everything in the Matan area. Uh, once you finish the game, essentially, you can come back over here, and I'm about to save you a lot of time because you want to enter from Millennium Square into Matan because it'll take you up to this uh, higher area that uh, you can only get to from the entrance of Millennium Square or from the very end of this stage, so it takes a bit, but... Uh, it's not too far off as you can see it. It's floating over there by that blue sign and you're gonna want to use the the horns of the bull here uh, To make this jump and get the the map card So you're gonna go ahead and grind over jump and then boost and there it is map acquired And now you have the map for Matan. We've got one more map card left and then uh, that'll be it for this video So let's go ahead and get that last card shall we? Okay, so for the last map card, you do have to beat the game, and uh, you can actually get this one before the Matan one, but I wanted to save it for the end so I could speak to you guys directly here at the end. I appreciate you watching my video, and I appreciate you going through all of these different moments in the game to find out where these map cards are with me. Uh, I hope my guide was informative and helpful, but yeah, you want to go ahead and talk to uh, Trice here at the hideout. And uh, he says, we've been focused on the hideout, so much real estate left to bear. How about you fix that? And so there, the map card will be available for us to obtain. It's uh, pretty simple where it's at. Um, and let's go ahead and go grab it, shall we? So it's right there on that, um, on that rail. So we're going to go ahead and jump this way, hold to the left. Or never mind, it's going to take me that way. And there it is. Map acquired. So that is the final map card we need, and now you've got everything you need to get every graffiti spot in the game. Uh, I do want to make a video about getting every graffiti spot, but it's very hard because there are multiple times where the graffiti gets covered or you need to get it done before you can progress. So it's going to be tricky. I might try to uh, you know, take a swing at it, but we'll see if there's enough demand for it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed um i'm glad i could help you get the map cards and until then y'all take care